All right, everyone, welcome back. Do you struggle knowing exactly what kind of lane pattern you're bowling on, or maybe even getting lined up and staying lined up? But well, we're going to be covering that topic in this video. Now, we have our friend here, Mr. Kevin. Now, we have a sport shot out. Kyle actually laid down a sport shot, and neither one of us know what pattern that Kevin is gonna go throw shots on. Now, do you have much sport shot experience? Not a lot, unfortunately. Not a lot, perfect. And what is your average normally on house shots? Uh, about a 200. Yeah. About a 200 average bowler. Okay, so we have an anonymous pattern and we're going to try and figure out what pattern we're bowling on and then what we should be doing to get lined up. All right, Kevin, so first things first, we gotta figure out what pattern we are bowling on. I'm gonna coach you through it, okay? So all right. I want you to grab your bowling ball yep. and I want you to line up all the way on the right side part of the lane, okay? okay? And this first shot, we're not trying to strike Nine times out of 10, this is not where we're going to play. We're just trying to see, is there a hook on the lane or is there a lot of slide? Okay. Okay, that's the first thing we need to see is, is the ball going to hook or is it gonna go all the way down there and never actually hook? Okay, okay so perfect. Yep. Oh, that was perfect. Wow, okay, so I mentioned that <laughs> we're not throwing strikes, Lucky. but that would have struck, I feel like. Okay, so that's actually really cool because the first shot we threw, we saw hook. So that tells me that the ball that you threw is probably a good ball. And then it got enough hook that it actually got back to the pocket. So even though that was our first shot, all the way over out to the right, just to see where the hook is, that is now a potential part of the lane that we could play just based on the first shot. But we still have some other things to figure out. That doesn't necessarily tell us what pattern this is. It just says, okay, it's probably less than 40 feet. Okay. Okay, so now we got our angle all the way out to the right. The next thing I want you to do is move about 10 boards to the left. Mm -hmm. And I want you to kind of keep the same, same angle. We don't want to get it all the way out to the gutter. We kind of want to play the middle part of the lane. And again, we're just seeing, does it slide or does it hook? Okay, perfect. That was good. All right. Okay, so, so far you have executed two perfectly good shots. One was out around board six and a little bit farther out. That one was around board eight, nine. And look how much it hooked. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So now you threw that, that's not gonna be a place where we play. Right. Just right off the bat. It obviously hooked way too much. It went Brooklyn. When a ball hooks that much, oftentimes there's not another ball that you can go to. So we've kind of deduced now that, hey, all the way out to the right is okay. If we inch a little bit in, ah, now there's a lot of hook. We might have to like kind of force our angles open and we don't necessarily want to do that just yet. So now we're just going to keep migrating in. Okay. We just need to see, is there any slide on this pattern as we move in or no? Because if we get to a point where as we keep moving left, if we get no slide, well then the only real slide we got was that first one all the way out to the right. Got it, okay. So these are just for information purposes. So move another 10, play the middle part of the lane, and then we'll just see if it hooks or doesn't. Okay, sounds good. All right, so your ball should be hitting right around the fourth arrow. Okay. Basically center of the line. Really good, okay, so we'll see. Okay, now that one didn't go as Brooklyn, right. or it didn't hook as much to the left side of the head pin as the second one. Right. Okay, so that was kind of a, a good informational shot as well because we know that, all right, we threw that first one all the way out. It was pretty good. 10 left of that, no good. But if we get extreme, that ball didn't sharply hook off the pattern. Sure. There's still a little bit of push going on. So that tells us, all right, you know, both of those could possibly be in play. Okay. The, the middle part in between, that was obviously the angle and just the way the pattern's playing. It was just way too much hook. You would have to overthrow it or do something crazy. Now that we, we, we've we kind of deduced that this is a shorter pattern. Yep, okay. You didn't really, you went high Brooklyn and then the first one, if we had pins, would have struck. But we didn't see much slide. We have not seen much slide. So already we can kind of deduce that 39, 38, probably even 37 and lower, okay? And, uh, I don't know what pattern that's gonna be. We're gonna have to guess, uh, and Kyle's gonna have to tell us the answer, but, but we're getting there. Okay. Okay, so now that we've deduced that it is probably a short pattern, um, we threw three shots, and now we are going to go with the strategy of attacking it like a short pattern. Now, have you ever bowled on a short pattern before? Uh, just a couple of times in practice, just not a, often. Just yeah. a couple of times. Well, they're the patterns with the most hook, and that's why we get farthest away from the head pin as we possibly can. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get you where we were for that very first shot. And we're gonna camp out there for about three or four shots and we're gonna see, okay, how exactly should we be releasing this and to get our best uh, ball reaction. Okay. Okay, 
camp out there like the first one. Actually, just try and throw it exactly like your first one now that we have pins, and uh, we'll just see. And if you miss, the whole world's gonna see. And, Absolutely. Uh, yeah. It's gonna go nowhere in the same direction, <laughs> so. Interesting, all right. Just a little bit. Now, question. Does playing out the outer part of the lane, does the gutter make you nervous? No. It's not as much that it makes me nervous as more as where I'm at sort of in my bowling development. I feel like I more come across my body sometimes. I'm not like afraid of the gutter necessarily. Maybe I am subconsciously because of where my arm swing goes, but I just bring it across my body a lot, it feels like. All right, well, on this next one, you're not gonna do that. All right, good. And if you throw it in the gutter, like really test yep. the limits. Yep. Like, so exactly what happened, it does get a little wristy and handsy. Yep. And we kind of want to not do that. Yep. But the consequence of that is it could go in the gutter. <laughs> and that's okay. All right. Because then enough. that's a success. Okay. All right. All right. Ah, look at my hook we got. Yeah. yeah. So the idea on short patterns is does it hook off the actual gutter or does it not hook off the actual gutter? And we've bowled on some some centers where the topography is really bad and we bowl in some short patterns to where if you get it out toward the gutter, it stays there, but there's so much hook in the middle that you can't play there either. And now you're just not quite sure what to do or how to do it. Yeah. And uh, I don't think this is the case, but okay. I need you to hit the gutter. All right, okay. So physically hit the gutter, got so, it, yeah. got it, yes. It's either gonna hit one or two board or it's gonna actually go in the gutter. And this is a good drill for you guys okay. if, you, if you struggle in short patterns because you gotta get that fear of letting it actually get close to the gutter. That's how the pattern is designed to be played, so. Okay. Try to get the fear out of there. No. <laughs> All right, now, this is what we want to yes. work on. Okay. This is exactly what we want to work on. Okay, so this next shot, the only difference you're going to do, Yep. you're going to take all your hand out of it. Yep. I mean, when you follow through, yep. it's not going to come up hard. It's not, yep. you're going to just softly lay it down and it's gonna be a very slow and okay. gentle roll. Okay? Right, perfect. And that's how we are going to keep the ball more on line yep. from this angle, because the last couple have just hooked too much. Okay, perfect. Decrease the rev as much as possible as that makes sense in your head. Zero revs. Beautiful! Success. It went up the gunner. There we go. Yeah. So all of your shots so far have been high, 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 yeah. high, high. Yep. We needed to know like, hey, we need to not have this ball hook so much. So then success. Okay. All right. So now that's kind of how we're going to play it. Yep. Okay. okay. Not a rev heavy, wrist heavy. Yep. So do that and throw it slower. Okay, cool. Perfect. I wanted you to throw a couple of gutters. Yes. Yeah. This is good. Had to do it we once. gotta get Had them to out of the once. way. Yes. But that style of release yep. is so much smoother. Okay. And when it's smooth and not jerky, yep. the ball reaction stays smooth on a pattern that otherwise doesn't want it to be. There's okay. all this hook. All right, makes sense. Okay, so now we're gonna give it one more go. Yep. And it's easier to not throw it in the gutter the less effort you put into it. Okay. So if you could put zero effort into this ball, it, it won't go in the gutter. Yeah. Because it's gonna be so slow, it'll hook before it gets there. Okay. Yep. Come on, that was so close. I know. That That's was so tried, close. Tried. All right, so now we've uh, successfully thrown two gutters. Yes. Successfully, I yes. might add. Appreciate that. All right, yep. so now we're just gonna keep doing this until we get comfortable with the line we're playing. Um, but at some point, we're gonna have to not throw a gutter. <laughs> That, We're inching closer and closer. This is the thing about short patterns is it's yeah. dangerously close to getting zero yeah. and then actually 10. Yeah. And this year on the Cheetah Championship, AJ Johnson threw four gutters on Cheetah. And uh, it's just, he's one of the greatest bowlers in the world. And that's what this pattern, these kind of patterns uh, deal with. But when you want to get better at them, you got to do what you're doing right now. Stay there until you get really, really comfortable of the feel that you need to feel. And your last three have been really good. It's just once that ball actually hooks before it gets to the gutter, it's 10 back. All right. And you can keep going a little softer and slower uh, until it hooks too much. Come on, come on. Okay, really good. Yep. Really good. So far in this training session, we have experienced a range. Yep. You've been wristy and handsy. The pattern doesn't like that. It overhooks. We have deduced it all the way down to a rev rate that uh, now the pattern is not responding like that anymore. It's a much more controlled and it's no longer a herky jerky reaction with the last four shots. Okay. 
And so when we're on short patterns, we need control. If you're going Brooklyn, we don't have control. So we like the way you're throwing it right here. Mm -hmm. We just need to now get lined up. Okay. And it's just really an angle thing. So I would actually have you step back just a, just a touch. Yep. Just to make sure the ball gets into a roll. And then maybe inch two to three right, closer yep. to the gutter. Yep. And we're just going to see. Okay. If, if the hand gets handsy, which the gutter makes you do that, then we'll just keep doing it. All right. Good shot. Okay, so now that was your first shot. Yes. Really close to the guy. Yeah, felt like it. <laughs> okay, do it again. Okay. Very nice. Oh. Yeah, all right. Close. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's a drastic difference in ball motion. Yeah. Than the first like four or five that you threw because that one didn't overhook. Right. Like it just kept going straight on a pattern that doesn't want it to go straight. Yep. That's why we decrease our rev rate and our hand and everything to gain control. That shot should have overhooked. Yep. Almost tripped the four nine for a strike because your hand was was good. So okay. let's let's do that again. Yep. Nice and simple. See, it's is the game a little easier when you don't have to feel like you got to like yes, you exactly. just got to let it go. So, yeah. Beautiful. All right, so, you know, and I, I just wanna express how important it is that if you go in and practice on a short pattern and you're throwing gutters, that's okay. That is totally fine. At some point, you have to get yourself into a spot where you're uncomfortable to get better. And a good advice from my buddy, Rano Page, one time was, I was like, man, how do I get good enough to like get on tour or whatever? And he's like, take the easiest pattern and play the hardest part of the lane. It's important to make yourself uncomfortable in order for you to, to get better. All right, Kevin, so we've played every part of the lane. We've thrown a lot of shots really close to the gutter. We've thrown some more inside. What this is doing is it's giving us a great picture of the lane. Mm -hmm. And the more you keep doing this, the more you're gonna get comfortable. However, you have not thrown a strike yet. No, thank you. Yes. So let's do Appreciate that. the reminder. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Now that's a simple line yeah. on a short pattern. Yeah. We kind of, you know, got that fear of the gutter out of the way. We did that in practice, whatever. And then we got our hand in the right spot. Our angles are in front of us now and not doing this. Yeah. And then bam, dude. Now we're we lined there. up on a short pattern. All right, so obviously we have a mystery pattern out there. We know it's pretty short. We know there's plenty of hook. We went through the trial and tribulations of what to do, but now we need to know what pattern it actually is. And the man himself over here uh, laid it out. Kevin, guess how long it is. Oh my guess. God, uh, 36 feet, I don't 36 know. 36 feet, that's mm. around mm. the footage I was gonna guess. What were you gonna guess? 36. Oh wow, I don't All see right. it being 37 and I don't see it being 35, so I think it is Los Angeles. That's uh. That's a decent guess. It's not bad when you guys were so close. The pattern ended up being 35 foot. Cheetah. Uh, it's cheetah. Oh. It's cheetah pattern. I wanted to give Kevin a little bit of taste of what we go through on tour. So I, had to, I had to give him a tour pattern. But uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Kevin, not much experience on the uh, on the sport shots. Probably used to coming in and blowing on more house shots. Yep. I'm sure the, the lane feel like when you're normally bowling on your house shots, compared to something like this, did it feel a lot different? Oh yeah, I have so much more room for error on house shots. This yeah. is just, I miss a little bit and this is gone. So. Just a little yeah. bit. So uh, hopefully you guys at home, can I just take the outro here? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I had to be the cameraman and I'm just I'm just behind, I'm feeling out. But, <laughs> but uh, hopefully you guys can see that there's a big difference between house shots, sports shots. Kevin, beginning when you didn't really know how to attack it, it was very easy for the ball to go everywhere. And finally, and this is what it takes, it's not a, it's not a one shot, it's not two shots, it's not a three shot thing to all of a sudden get lined up. You're playing a part of the lane that you're not used to, you're not comfortable with it, and you gotta be willing to make a lot of mistakes out there. But by the end of it, you were able to throw a shot that is in the right part of the lane, the right ball, and you're able to get to the pocket, and now you have an idea. Yeah. And now you know on short patterns, okay, I can tweak that idea, and now I have a better plan, a good strategy on how to score, instead of just not knowing what to do at all. So my guy, you did great for a, a guy you. that does a bowl on sports shots. Thank you. This was awesome, he did good. I'm sure. He's going to be working on this with us quite a bit now. But uh, anyway, guys, that's a little bit about uh, how to get lined up, how to adjust. Hopefully this helps you out. And if you like it, let us know in the comments. If you'd like us to tweak the video or make any more videos like this, let us know what you want to see. And uh, we'll see him later. Thank you, guys.